Hello viewers, welcome to the next section, working with asynchronous code. In this section, we will learn about understanding synchronous and asynchronous execution, refactoring code to take advantage of asynchronous decorators, making HTTP requests to the Tornado non-blocking API. Now we move on to the video, understanding synchronous and asynchronous execution. In this video, we will learn to understand how our current version of the API processes two incoming requests. In our current version of the API, each HTTP request is blocking. Thus, whenever the Tornado HTTP server receives an HTTP request, it doesn't start working on any other HTTP request in the incoming queue until the server sends the response for the first HTTP request it received. The methods we coded in the request handlers are working with asynchronous execution, and they don't take advantage of the non-blocking features included in Tornado when combined with asynchronous executions. In order to set the brightness level for both the blue and white LEDs, we have to make two HTTP patch requests. Open two command prompts, and we will compose and send an HTTP request to set the brightness level for the blue LED to 255. Type the HTTP patch command in the first window, but don't press enter yet, as we will try to launch two commands at almost the same time in two windows. Now, go to the second window. We will compose and send an HTTP request to set the brightness level for the white LED to 255. Type the HTTP patch 8888 command in the second window. But don't press enter yet, as we will try to launch two commands at almost the same time in two windows. Now, go to the first window, press enter, then go to the second window, and quickly press enter. You can see these highlighted lines in the window that is running the Tornado HTTP server. These selected lines show the results of executing the print statements that describe when the code finished and then started setting the brightness level for the LEDs. It was necessary to wait for the request that changed the brightness level for the blue LED to finish before the server could process the HTTP that changes the brightness level for the white LED. Now we have three terminal windows recurrently active. The current window is running the Tornado HTTP server and displays the messages printed in the methods that process the HTTP requests. Now we go to the second window which is running the HTTP command to generate the HTTP request that changes the brightness level for the blue LED. The last window is running the HTTP command to generate the HTTP request that changes the brightness level for the white LED. Now Tornado will be able to start processing requests while the IO operations with the drone take some time to complete. 